we have in our pockets access to a very sophisticated hardware and software together. This is UCLA Newsweek. This time on Newsweek, researchers from UCLA have been leading the charge to bring healthcare to poor and resource-starved countries using an unlikely tool, the cell phone. The team, led by UCLA engineering professor Idiagun Ojin, has already developed lightweight, inexpensive cell phone microscopes. So if you could have tiny uh, microscopes that could fit into your pocket and be connected to a cell phone, uh, then you could potentially bring these microscopes and whatever they have been used for to remote locations to, for instance, diagnose disease. We have more than... Um, 4 billion cell phone subscribers today, and every year we manufacture on the order of a billion new cell phones. So that means uh, because of that volume, we have in our pockets access to a very sophisticated hardware and software together. So that could really be leveraged to bring new microscopes. In their latest advance, they've created a cell phone-based flow cytometer, which can be used in the field to rapidly image blood and other bodily fluids to check for infections and cancers, and monitor the progression of HIV and AIDS. While typical flow cytometers are big, bulky, expensive contraptions, the cell phone version is small, about a half an ounce, and costs less than $5. Warfare may be ugly, but it also may help spark the development of civilization, new UCLA archaeological research suggests. Researchers working in Peru's Titicaca Basin discovered evidence the destruction of one primitive state in the region by another some 2,000 years ago was followed by the latter's rise as a dominant political force and population center, the first settlement in the area that could be classified as a civilization. The UCLA study is part of a larger worldwide comparative research effort to define the characteristics of ancient civilizations. On Monday, July 25th, Governor Jerry Brown signed into law Assembly Bill 130. This historic legislation opens the door to undocumented immigrant students attending UCLA and other state colleges and universities to become eligible for private scholarships funded by donor-provided gifts and endowments. On hand for the historic signing, which is part of the California Dream Act, were Chancellor Gene Block and other staunch supporters of this bill and others that would remove barriers to higher education to undocumented students. For more on this and other stories, visit the newsroom at newsroom.ucla.edu and follow us on Twitter at UCLA Broadcast.